Hello and welcome inside the Spencer Sports Center here for Lady Warriors basketball action. Big time matchup here tonight. Two top 10 teams in all of NJCAA women's basketball. It's your Wabash Valley Lady Warriors, number six in the nation, versus Three Rivers College Lady Raiders, number 10 in the nation. A big time matchup. Every year these two uh, teams play each other at Three Rivers and then at Wabash Valley. At Three Rivers earlier this season, back on November 4th, Fourth, Wabash Valley got the win, 82 to 65 over this Lady Raiders team. You know they're going to want to return the favor back now here in the Spencer Sports Center in the Lady Warriors house. I'm Zach Reynolds alongside Austin Harrelson for this big time top 10 matchup. Should be a fun one. Yeah, no, I, th I definitely think it should be a fun one. Last year's game was, I mean, that was the last matchup that I saw was last year's game. And it was a, you know, a fun matchup. Both teams, stellar teams. These teams blow out their opponents and so playing them up against each other you know it's fun to watch and you know like you said it's always a great matchup I know earlier this year uh, or I guess last year now it's 2024 same season but the Warriors won by 17 and that's a close game for the Warriors that's a you know and so having these two teams great teams match up against each other it's what you like to see in women's basketball absolutely two teams known for really good defense Warriors with that signature press uh, three rivers not allowing much over 50 points a game this season. The last time these two teams met in the Spencer Sports Center was uh, last year. That game was on ESPN+. Plus. It was a big-time deal for the two programs, and Shalana Wagner set the Wabash Valley all-time single-game record with 47 points. Lots to live up to in this matchup, but two really good teams. Wabash Valley in the home whites, three rivers in black with some yellow trim. The starter for Wabash Valley are Shamaya Reed, beautiful Wahid, Ali Smith, Corinne Brunson, and Nakia Harris. For Three Rivers, it'll be Brittany Wells, Alexia Weaver, Leah Jackson, Maya Davidson, and Kaylee Thompson. The tip, Wahid against Davidson, and Wabash Valley wins the tip here on News Channel 15 YouTube. Read up top, and we're underway. Drives to the left and hands off, trying to run the offense here. Smith with it up top, now she'll drive, kicks out. Reed takes a three with the defender in her face. It's a little short. Rebound to Three Rivers. Yeah, you don't want, you want to settle for shots like that. I felt like that was a two-bit contested for the Warriors. Warriors with a zone matchup. It looks now they'll switch to man. Davidson has it. She scored 13 at Three Rivers against Wabash Valley earlier this season. Gets it back down at the block. Now working against Harris. Cuts through, goes up at the block, and on the board first is Three Rivers and Maya Davidson. It's a good move to follow through. Strong could have called an and one there, but great move from Three Rivers. Wabash Valley breaks the press. Smith breaks into the paint. Little floater well short. Missed the rim. Davidson another rebound. Yeah, I mean, just forcing up shots early. You know, that's not what you want to see if you're the Warriors. Jackson will drive. She'll take a little floater. That one short off the front of the rim. Will heed with the rebound. Jackson leads them in scoring 10.3 a game. Will heed in transition here. She'll step it back out to the three-point line around a screen from Harris back up top. Great pass, but it's taken away by Davidson. Good idea. Pass wasn't executed well, and Davidson with the steal. Yeah, not a hard pass and not just in, you know, right idea like you said, but just not executed very well. Up top, Wells has it. She'll kind of set up the offense now. Slow it down a bit. 15 on the shot clock. Drives right, hands off to Weaver. Picks up her dribble, swings it over. Thompson with it, kicks to the left corner. A three ball for Jackson. That's money. Good shot there in rhythm. A little bit contested as well, but hey man, three rivers playing well so far. And they're setting up a press. Wabash Valley used to setting up the press on other teams. Brunson, she'll drive into the block. Can't get anything on that. Maybe partially blocked. Gets her own rebound. We'll kick it out. He thought about the three. Now they'll set up the offense with 15 on the shot clock. Smith running the point up top. She'll drive in. Right block goes up. She's fouled. Heading to the charity stripe trying to get Wabash Valley on the board. This team needed something to go their way early on. They haven't been able to, you know, get anything going on offense. But... You know, with Smith going to the line, hopefully this, this jump starts this offense. You know, a couple of contested looks in the first two offensive possessions for Wabash Valley. A, a contested three that was a little short, and then Smith had a floater in the paint that was missed the rim. That time they got a little bit better of a look. Smith got fouled. Reed checks or stays in. So Smith will be at the free throw line. 
51.4% from the free throw line this year. Missed the first one too strong. Yeah, and three rivers coming out. You know, like we talked about before the game, they play a lot of their players in and out. You know, they don't stick with one rotation, kind of like what Wabash does. But Smith gets on the board for Lady Warriors. Yeah, uh, three rivers, all but one of their players who's not played at all this year. The rest of them have all played at least seven of the games. Down at the block, there's a hard foul. Harris fouled Taylor, it looks like, who's fresh in. So she'll go to the free throw line. 5-1, he done it early going, 7.47 left in the first quarter. Yeah, Three Rivers breaking this press with ease so far. They really haven't had any troubles with, you know, finding easy buckets. First free throw misses off to the right from Taylor. She's only shooting 46.7% on the year from the charity stripe. Struggles there a bit. Missed the first one. Second one's up. And that's nothing but net. So six to one now. Wabash Valley will try to break this press. Now it's a man-to-man -man press and it'll kind of back out and Smith will bring it up the floor. Awarding against Brown. Well, he'd step back, three ball from the right wing. That's money. That's a beautiful looking shot right there. You gotta get your ball into, you gotta get your the ball into the hands of your best players, what I was trying to get to. Created her own separation. Reed almost takes that one away, but it's back in the hands of Davis. Gets it across the timeline. Reese drives, kicks it right corner. Three ball, that one is no good. Rebound offensive to Three Rivers. And a nice pass to the opposite block and a score for Jasmine Davis. Great pass right there. You know, Three Rivers is getting second chance buckets as well. Great effort by this team. Reed showing off the dribble move, drives into the paint, throws it up, and it falls off the rim. No foul call, rebound to Three Rivers. They'll move it up in a hurry. Jasmine Davis brings it up the court. She'll hand off. Driving in is Brown. She'll go up. That one's off. Harris, the rebound, loses it, but she's fouled. I mean, I'll give it to the refs. They're letting, they're letting the girls play. They are. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. You know, you got to call fouls like that, of course, but... Maya Johnson checks in for Three Rivers. And as we mentioned earlier, they do. They sub in and out with regularity, keep their players fresh. That's what you got to do, though. I mean, if you have that ability, it's it's an ability that a lot of teams don't have. After a rough start, Wabash Valley trying to get back into it. It's 8-4, to 6.35 left in this first quarter. Smith will hand off to Brunson. They're trying to get something going offensively. Harris up top, tries to drive in, kicks it to Wahid. She'll drive into the paint. Nice bounce pass, and Smith can't finish. Harris, the offensive rebound. She falls down and throws it away. No doubt wanted a foul call there, didn't get it. Here comes Three Rivers and transition. Cutting into the middle, it's Brown. Euro step, she goes up. No good, rebound to Brunson. Smith's ahead of the pack, and she'll have an easy layup at the right-hand block and finishes. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of no calls right now, especially on contested layups. Letting them play, as you said. Brown quickly up ahead here, drives in the paint, opposite block. That one knocked away, and Harris steals it. And that one passes just past the defender. Waheed takes it, goes at the right block, and one for a beautiful Waheed. Beautiful finish, <laughs> you know, with their name as well. I mean, great finish there. She knew that there was going to be contact trying to go up high. Great finish there from Beautiful. Harris did a good job there. She basically had to, t you know, guard two defenders down at the opposite block, was able to get over, affect the pass, steal the ball away. And the pass was almost taken away yeah, by Camille a, Brown. That was a risky pass, but it ended up working out for Wabash Valley. And all of a sudden, we're tied up at eight apiece. Yeah, this, you know, Warriors team got off to a slow start, but they're not used to playing teams like this is the, the you know, the truth. Well, he completes the three-point play and made the free throw. So now Wabash Valley with the lead. 9-8 with 5.45 left in the first quarter. Setting up the press, and it's broken by Johnson. Now she's trapped and get it off. Davidson picks up the dribble. They wanted to travel, didn't get it. Wells drives in, kick to the corner, and a three-point shot's missed that time by Wells. Or excuse me, Johnson, Wabash Valley in transition now. Smith will take a top of the key three. That one well short. And uh, I don't think Luke Shattuck is going to like that shot in transition. No, I mean, you know, you're only up one. Okay, you got you to gotta go down there. You know, control the pace of the game. If I'm the Warriors, that's what I would be trying to do right now. You know, just slow it down just a tad bit. See what the offense holds. Nakia Barney checks into the game for Wabash Valley. Free throw line jumper is in and out, but a rebound offensive to Davidson. She puts it back up. 
Could have called the foul there as well, but. Quickly, Waheed the other way, left hand layup is good. That was a magnificent play by Waheed. Wanted the end one, didn't get it. These teams are moving fast. Short corner with it is Weaver. She'll drive in, tries to kick it out. Wells has it up top. Wabash Valley sitting in the defense. Davidson driving on Barney. And now here comes Brunson and she'll cause the tie up. Rally into the ball. That's an important part of defense, Austin, especially when they get down towards the paint like that. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that this Three Rivers team is trying to feed the ball to Davidson. They doubled the post there, and it worked out very well in Wabash's favor. Well, this game has lived up to it so far. It's 11 to 10 here, 451. We've got the first timeout. We'll be back in a minute. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Hi, I'm Brett Weinzappel. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon. I'm happy to be uh, starting my practice in Mount Carmel in the orthopedic department. I attended Indiana University School of Medicine in Indianapolis. Following that, uh, I went to uh, Case Western Reserve University for my orthopedic residence as well as a spine fellowship. I've been practicing in Evansville since 2007 and I'm happy to bring my practice to Mount Carmel, Illinois in 2023. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson back with you at the Spencer Sports Center. Great matchup so far between the Lady Raiders and the Lady Warriors. It's 11 to 10. Wabash Valley leading with 11 points and uh, beautiful Waheed has eight of them, Austin. She's been carrying so far. Yeah, no, she's, I mean, tough finishes at the rim and a nice step back three as well to just, you know, highlight her eight points. But this Warriors team started off real slow. Now they're, you know, found a way to get the lead right back into this ball game. And now uh, Three Rivers trying to set up their out-of-bounds play. Now the ref's going to go have a talk with Luke Scheidecker. They had uh, Davidson underneath the hoop, standing there forever. The ref wouldn't hand the ball. Scheidecker wanted them to start running the five-second clock. Instead, on the inbound, the pass goes in to Thompson, who's back in after starting, and now it's back up top. Picked up the dribble, left side, five on the shot clock. Wells has it, hands off. That's Jackson. One on the shot clock. It's taken away by Brunson. They go in transition. Three on three. Brunson driving. Gets past the defender. Goes up at the block. Can't finish. Offensive rebound. Barney put back and one. <laughs> Nakia Barney with the hoop and the harm after the tough offensive rebound. That was great all the way around, Austin. Defense to offense. Yeah, I think Brunson could have gotten the call there. I think she should have gotten the call there. But, you know, second chance points are huge. Three Rivers has shown that, you know, they've been able to get buckets off of them. And now Wabash has to be able to come back and do the same. Barney's free throw off the front of the rim. Offensive rebound to Reed. She'll throw up a shot off the glass and good. Second chance points once again. Three Rivers working quickly at the block, and it's rejected by Barney. And how about Nakia Barney, fresh in the game, affecting it on both ends with a rejection there after the end one on the other end. Yeah, that's a great rejection there. Great defense from this Warriors team after that slow start, Zach. Absolutely. Had to go all the way down to a shot clock, and then a steal, now a block there. It'll inbound it from underneath their own basket, Will Three Rivers. Gets into the corner, miscommunication. Tried to pass it to Jackson. She wasn't looking for it. She was still in, in her cut, it seemed. So an unforced turnover there. And with a 15-10 lead, 4-18 left in the first quarter, Wabash Valley a chance to put on the throttle a little bit. That's what you got to do if you're the Warriors, though. Force three rivers to make their own turnovers. You don't have to do anything crazy. Let them make their own mistakes. That's something they're so good at, that press. They didn't have to get the steals. Usually they just cause mental stress. Well, he has it up at the top. She's had a great game early on. She'll get it back to Reed up at the top of the key. She tries to cut between two defenders, loses the ball. Davidson has it. She looks up before just handing it off to Davis. Davis runs a bit of a point for him. Now she'll hand off to Jackson. Their leading score goes around a screen. Reed playing good defense. Kick to the corner. Good find. Three ball is well short. Rebounds a beautiful Waheed. 
Trying to go in transition. She cuts in, little floater is blocked by Jackson, gets her own rebound. She does not have numbers, but she's blowing past them with her speed. Little floater, no good, gets her own rebound. Turn around, hook, no good. Rebound ends up out of bounds and it goes to Wabash Valley way. A lot of no calls here early is the only thing I can say. So they're getting physical. They're letting them play, which you like to see a little bit. Uh, Jackson showing off right there really well. Played some good defense and played really tough down there. Just couldn't get a shot to fall. Yeah, and, and if you're Three Rivers, you got to be happy with the performance so far, though. I mean, this Warriors team is nothing to, you know, you're only down five. You had a good start. Now... Just got to see if the Warriors can take advantage. Smith drives in, right block, a little layup's no good, rebound, and then a foul on the putback. Three Rivers wanted the jump ball. Instead, Madison Lewis, fresh in, is going to the free throw line. Got to start calling fouls at some point. I think, you know, with Scheidecker yelling over there so much, you know, he wants a foul, wants a foul. Maybe that's not the call that you make there in that spot. Could have been a jump ball, but I could have seen it both ways. About to see if the Warriors can keep taking advantage. Lewis's first free throw is up and good. Lewis is 69.2% free throw shooter on the year, scoring 9.5 points per game. She's had a lot of starts early on, but recently Aaliyah Smith's been in the starting lineup instead of her. But she's really kind of the leading scorer off the bench when she's on the bench. Second free throw's too strong. It's tipped out by Reed. That'll go to Three Rivers. I want to see for this Warriors team who's going to take the offensive responsibility with Beautiful out of the game. Really interested to see. Because Beautiful's been the offense so far for this Warriors team. Wells quickly blows past everybody there, gets it into the paint. There's a foul down low. Strike it into the paint to Kira Neal, who's fresh in, and there was a foul down there. So they'll end down it from underneath their own basket. <laughs> Finds a short corner, little jump shot in and out. Couldn't fall for Leah, or Leah Reese, excuse me. Wabash Valley going in transition now. Lewis will get it to Smith. They'll set up the offense a little bit. Smith showing off the dribble moves. Cuts in, kicks into the corner. Lewis, three ball, too strong. Rebound to Reese. It's a good shot there for Lewis. It's the shot you want open. Just couldn't get it to fall. Jackson drives in the lane. That shot was altered, but an offensive rebound and put back for Kiera Neal is good. And now they get a steal right there, and Camille Brown gets the easy bucket. They steal it again. Jackson up, missed a shot. Murray fighting for it. Turn around, no good again, and now a foul going the other way. That's going to be on Jackson over the back. All of a sudden, back to a two-point game, 16-14, sloppy play there from Wabash Valley. Yeah, just sloppy is the only way to put it, like you said. You know, you want to... <laughs> just sloppy, especially after a good bucket. You know, just not being able to... Just execute. Execute the little things if you're the Warriors. And it looks like Wabash Valley is going to be in the bonus here, so... It will be Reed going to the free throw line. Both teams defensively, however, I mean, they've both played great defensively. These are both teams that score a lot of points. They love scoring a lot of points and not a lot of time. And so far, both teams have done a really good job of slowing down each other. Reed's first free throw was good there. Second end. It is too strong. Offensive rebound for Lewis momentarily, but then taken away by Weaver. Stolen now by Brunson. Drives into the block. Spin move. Goes up with the left hand. No good. Rebound to Wells. I'll take it the other way. 2.15 left in this first corner. Wells in a hurry. Drives in. Goes a pass to the block. And the layup's missed. Gets her own rebound. Thompson again goes back up. This time she's fouled and won. Second chance points have been huge in this game so far. And three rivers again. I feel like, I feel like the, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the effort isn't there right now, which size difference for the Warriors. But you know, you just gotta play to it. You gotta, you gotta. What am I? What am I thinking? What's the word right now, Zach? Can't think of the word. It'll come to me in a little bit. Well, Thompson ties it up as she completes the three-point play by making that free throw, and now she'll have a trip to the bench. Three Rivers set up, sets up the press. Smith with it for Wabash Valley. Working against Wells, she'll break the timeline. All tied up at 17. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Smith 
Drives, hands off to Wahid. Goes around the screen from Bardney. Now finds Bardney on the row. One dribble, and she's fouled. It'll be a blocking foul, I believe. I believe it, uh, she was down in the restricted area, and that's why it's going to be a block and foul instead of a charge. I think her feet weren't set either, so I think that's a good call right there. It's going to be on Camille Brown. We just said that's her second already. Great pass right there from Beautiful. I mean, maybe the pass you should make in that spot, but was able to thread the needle. And, and now you got Brown to the free throw line. Barney made her first one there to get the lead back for Wabash Valley. The second one's up, good as well. Two for three from the line now tonight. Four points total off the bench. It's 19-17, under two minutes now. A trap up at the logo. Wells picked up a dribble and finds Neal. Smith overplayed that one a bit. Johnson brings it back out. They'll reset up at the top. 15 on the shot clock. Wells with it, calling for a screen from Brown. Running the offense, Reed picks her up, hands off. Johnson back to Wells now in the middle, Neal. One dribble, goes at the block, no good. Rebound to Barney. She finds Reed, she's up ahead of everybody. Two on two, Reed, Euro step, underhand layup, and it falls. Great move right there, got the little Euro step right there on the fast break. And that's gonna force that timeout from Three Rivers, it looks like, or maybe not. Now they're just gonna go and talk to the coach who, uh, Got a little overexcited, looks yeah, like. I want to say a warning was given. Both coaches now, I believe, have gotten a warning. They're both passionate coaches. Two really good coaches, Alex Wiggs and Luke Scheidecker, coaching really good programs year after year. They get passionate. This pass all the way up to Johnson, and she was wide open, and that one missed well strong. They save it, but now it'll be a backcourt violation as nobody from Wabash Valley touched it. Long rebound that got knocked out. So that works out Wabash Valley's way. Late call right there, Zach. I didn't know if the, you know, if the refs were going to blow their whistle on it or not. Interested to see, you know, how this. We saw, you know, Wahid go out for a little bit. This team kind of fell apart. So with Wahid coming back in, we'll have to see if the Warriors can, you know, kind of go on a run themselves. Reed's going to run the point here. Hands off to Harris. Now back to Rita, goes around the screen. Neal playing great defense, cutting her off. She's tripped up, no foul call. Neal takes it right away from her. Now here comes Three Rivers and transition. Driving down is Reese. She'll pull up for a little jumper, and it's good. Great shot right there by Reese. If you're Wabash, you got to be upset about the no call there. 35 seconds now left in this one. Smith up top in the first quarter. Takes a deep free ball, contested too strong. And there's going to be a foul, I believe, on Harris. Yeah, it'll be on Harris over the back. That's her second. So 31.3 seconds on the clock in the first quarter. It's 21 to 19, Lady Warriors leading. You see, even though there's a 1.3 second difference between game clock and shot clock, we'll see if they hold it for the last shot or not. Nope, Camille Brown drives right down and she gets fouled. She'll go to the free throw line with a chance to tie it up. Zach, if we know anything about these two teams, they're not holding for the last shot. Speed's the name of the game with them. On defense and offense, they use their defense to turn into fast offense. Both of them are known for that. Brown out of Conway, Arkansas, a freshman, playing well for him. She's at the free throw line. Has two points already. First shot is up, and it rolls off the right side of the rim. This Warriors team has to just find some consistent offense outside of Wahid. I feel like we haven't seen a whole lot of consistency from really anyone in this ball game. Second free throw misses as well. Rebound goes out of bounds off of Corinne Brunson. Brunson says it was off of Jackson. Jackson agrees with the referee's call. So a uh, new possession here for Three Rivers with no shot clock, 23.2 on the game clock. Full inbound from underneath their own basket. It'll be Brown on the trigger. She finds Wells in the left corner. She'll drive baseline, but no, stepped out of bounds. Wasn't aware of the out of bounds marker over there in the corner, so just as Three Rivers caught a break there, Wabash Valley catches one right back. Yeah, I mean, whew, a little Interesting game we got going on. What the a only, first quarter. The I mean, only thing that I can say. It's lived up to the hype so far. It really has. 20, under 20 seconds now in the first quarter. Smith will bring it up for Wabash Valley. 
They like to play fast, but I'm sure they'll hold for the last shot here. Smith working against Wells. Goes around the screen from Barney. Step back. Now she'll drive in towards the elbow. Showing off the move. His little floater outside the block. In and out. Rebound tipped around. Smith gets it back. Put back is no good. Rebound to Reese. That'll do it for the first quarter. This top 10 matchup has been just as advertised. A two-point game. Warriors on top. 21-19. Be back for the second quarter in one minute. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. Open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. Back at the Spencer Sports Center here for this top 10 matchup in women's basketball. Coming into this one, Wabash Valley, number six in the country, 11 and one. Three Rivers College, 12 and two, number 10. Three Rivers are only two losses, one of them against number six, Wabash Valley, us. And then the other was against number eight, Trinity Valley. So they've had a tough schedule, but been really good so far. And they're uh, giving Wabash Valley one run for their money right now. Yeah, I think with Wabash going, you know, starting the game off to a really slow start, it's really hindered what the, you know, the scoreboard looks like. I think this Warriors team, you know, has had full control of this game. Just, you know, at times it feels like, you know, Three Rivers is coming back. But then, you know, just seeing, you know, beautiful Wahid so far in this ball game has looked pretty well as well. So just get the ball into her hands and see what she can do. Barney up top with it, a two-point game, 15 on the shot clock. There it is Wahid. Step back, thought about the three, and Stetch will swing across to Smith. Drives in, floater in front of the restricted line, a little too strong. Rebound to Three Rivers. Davis in a hurry, kicks it over. Jackson will take the three ball. In and out, rebound to Davidson. Put back, good off the glass. You see, and I mean, nobody around the ball there for the Warriors. They just have to, you know, there was, there was even nobody to box out. And Davidson was six points now. Smith quickly driving up. Now she'll step back out. She's got a great handle on the ball. Kicks it back up to Waheed. Step back, free ball, top of the key. Is off to the right, rebound to Weaver. Throws this one up to Jackson, ahead of the pack. Now Wabash Valley recovers two on two. Davidson at the block. She'll turn around, throw it up. Off the right of the rim, rebound knocked around. Raheed has it and just throws it way ahead to Smith. Barely saves it in bounds. Now she'll bully the defender, goes up and is fouled at the right block. Crazy looking pass from Waheed right there. But I guess you could say it worked. And then Smith was able to just, you know, Smith, not the not the biggest player out there, but using her strength, she's got a little bit of strength down there, using that strength to get into the post, and now she's got herself to the line. Play strong for sure, and maybe a bit careless of a pass from Wahid, but it worked out. We're all tied up here, 21 to 21, 8.50 left in the second quarter here at the Spencer Sports Center. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson with you. And Smith's first free throw goes in, out, and then back in. It's good, and Wabash Valley back with the lead now. Both teams just really haven't been able to find a whole lot of consistency offensively. You know, not one person's really controlling this ball game for either side. Second free throw is good as well. It's 23 to 21. And the press working here. Waheed almost takes that away. Her and Reed trap. Now they do steal it. Waheed with it. Smith up top. She'll wait for her offense to join her. Now she'll take the deep three. Well short. Missed everything. Three Rivers fans letting her hear it. Yeah, Smith struggling just a tad bit tonight, not being able to, you know, she's getting some good looks, just hasn't been able to put it in the hole. I've seen her make that shot. It's just not happening right now. Thompson flying to the rack, and that one a little wild. The rebound to Wabash Valley, but then taken away by Brown. And she's fouled going up. That's going to be a foul on Smith. I mean, that's a good foul there from Smith. You know, you give up the ball right there, right in the post. You just can't give her the easy layup. I understand that. This team just, like, I mean, there's just been no consistency throughout the entire game. You haven't really been able to rely on anyone. You know, 
obviously three rivers, one goal is beautiful with Heat offensively. I mean, she's been, you know, this team's best offensive player and she shows it day in and day out. And so they just, the Warriors have to find someone else to contribute. And Smith, like you said, we've seen her make these shots. It's just not falling right now. Brown missed both free throws there over on the night. And Waheed showing off the dribble moves now. She'll kick over to the Reed. They'll set up the offense. Give it right back to Waheed. Why not? She's been the hot hand. Looks like a bit of an ISO situation. Looks off the defender. Driving. Now she'll drive in. She's fouled. And that's really good ball handle right there. Forcing Davis to come in and foul her like that. I think it's good defense from Davis. She just started using her hands at that point, you know? You keep keep your hands out wide. You don't go for the steal right there if you're Davis. Yeah, I think one of the underrated benefits of being a good ball handler is you kind of, when you're just dribbling it out in front like that, it gets so tempting to the, the defender to reach in there, and you can use that to your advantage. Davidson knocks that inbound pass away. Two on two, three rivers. Thompson going flying to the rack, and she's fouled. She'll have two free throws. The three Rivers doing a good job. They, it's almost like, you know, they knew the play. They're just sitting there waiting for it to happen. And so great play from Davidson to knock the ball away. And, you know, great job for the Warriors getting back, trying, you know, not allowing the easy layups. But you don't, you don't want to see these kinds of turnovers from the Warriors. It's Thompson at the line. She makes both of them. It would tie it up at 23 apiece. First one is nothing but net. And you know, uh, after the first quarter, it was 21 to 19. It's now just 23 to 22 with eight minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, both teams got a lid on the basket, so to speak, right now. Yeah, I, you know, yeah, not a whole lot going in for either squad right now. Tied up at 23 now. So Thompson hit both those free throws. Reed brings it up for Wabash Valley over the logo. Set up the offense, wait for things to develop. Brunson right side. Well, he's now in the corner. We'll see what she can do. Tries to drive in. Now she'll kick to the corner with Brunson. Under 10 on the shot clock. Brunson drives baseline. Goes up in and out. Rebound and put back good by Bardney. Great drive by Brunson there. But the second chance points have been huge in this game so far. And whoever's getting the second chance points, it, they just take the lead at that point. And Bardney playing good defense there. Stayed straight up. Didn't try to swat at the shot. And it worked out. Reed drives in, finds Barney at the right block. She goes up, and she has got the hot hand right now. Nakia Barney with eight points now. Barney playing well offensively. Smith with the rebound here. Up to Wahid ahead of the pack. And Jackson fouls her. She's She seemed upset about the call, but it was pretty obvious from here. She got a lot of arm. Yeah, I know. I mean, you can just see it was... Blayton went straight down on the arm. Now, I'm all, I'm all for the refs, you know, letting the players play and stuff like that. But then there are calls, you know, that you have to make as the ref. And I think right there is a big one. Hopefully, Waheed grasping her arm. Hopefully, everything's all right. Well, she got up on her arm. Seems to be all right. We got immediate timeout now. Wabash Valley, a little run there from Nakia Bardney. It's now 27 to 23. We'll be back in a minute. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. 6.59 left in the first half here at the Spencer Sports Center. Beautiful heat going to the free throw line as we come back from the media timeout. But 
Wabash Valley up 27 to 23 after a four point run of her own from Nakia Bardney, who's getting more playing time today. Didn't play much, uh, only one game in the first semester season. Uh, had a bit of an injury. She's starting to work her way back as Wahid misses the first free throw. But Bardney making her way back, getting extra minutes tonight because Chloe Dallas not back yet from winter break, not with the team tonight. So Bardney getting more time down low and she's paying off with lots of boards, some defense, and some shots. Yeah, I mean, Bardney has played really well. Get the ball to her, getting the ball to her hands, you know, in the post has been, you know, the way to go for the Warriors, at least in the past few minutes it has. And, you know, just second chance opportunities as well, taking advantage of her playing time, like you said. Wahid with nine points after the, she made that last free throw to make it 28 to 23. Bardney has eight. They're the leading scorer for Wabash Valley. Thompson up ahead. Now she'll get it over to Wells. She'll run the point for three rivers. 15 on the shot clock. Letting something develop. Reese has it now. In the corner, driving baseline. Nice dump off pass, but Thompson can handle it. Stays with three rivers. Three ball is money from Brittany Wells. That's a big time shot for three rivers. Huge shot right there. Brunson quickly drives in, goes up the right block, no good, rebound to Three Rivers. They got a chance to tie or take the lead with the three ball here. Driving is Johnson, she'll go up with the right hand and ties it up. Yeah, the huge media time out there for this Three Rivers team, calming them down. As it looked like the Warriors were taking full advantage of this ball game. But Three Rivers giving themselves a little bit of a run too. Tied up with six minutes left in the first half. Smith up top. Over to Reed, 15 on the shot clock. Reed drives in. Euro step, little floater in and out. Rebound to Reese. Great move, just not able to finish. A chance for Three Rivers to take the lead back here. Left corner, three ball. Bermia Johnson is money. Five in a row for Bermia Johnson, and Three Rivers takes a three point lead. Yeah, 8 0 run here from the Three Rivers. I mean, just big time shots. They're hitting the open shots now. Smith drives in, she'll step back. Long two jumper, hits the front of the rim, and then bounces out. Big time momentum here for Three Rivers. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Those are shots that Three Rivers just wasn't hitting, you know, with those open threes and, you know, two threes. Within the last minute or so, Wabash really just hasn't been able to put anything on the board. They, I mean, just they, every shot that they've taken is a hard shot. I mean, Three Rivers has done a really good job being up in these girls' faces. That's what both these teams are known for. Defense, 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 and we're getting a bunch of that so far. A three-point game, three rivers up, 31-28. A chance to add to that with 5-10 left in the first half. Driving is Johnson. Can't get that one to fall. Was looking for seven in a row by herself. And then a foul on the rebound. I think that's going to be on Kiara Neal. Your Wabash. You know, they just got to find some, like, I, I feel like I've said the entire game, you know, find some consistency offensively. You know, they haven't really been able to find any open shots, and nobody's really been able to create some open shots. Wahid, you know, that's what she is so good at, and Smith, you know, Smith, right now the shots just aren't falling. We know, we yeah. know the shots can fall for Smith. And she can create her own space, too, but the shots, like you said, just not falling tonight. She keeps trying, though. F tries to pass it off to Barney at the block. There's too much traffic there. A turnover. Here comes Three Rivers, the Lady Raiders in transition. Neil up top, thinking about the three-pointer. She'll get back to the logo with Wells. Coach Wiggs calling out the play. 15 on the shot clock. Around the screen from Neil as well. She'll drive in. Floater from outside the restricted line is good. 33-28 now. The run continues for the Lady Raiders. Smith bringing it up. Wabash Valley needs an answer. Get it in the hands of their playmaker, Wahid. Now running a little weave offense. Reed with it. Back to Smith. 15 on the shot clock. Another contested three. That one short again. Rebound long into the hands of Reed. She's fouled by Davis over there, a little overzealous trying to take that one away. Is the Smith, one of them is gonna fall. And when one falls, a lot of them fall. Jayla Murray just checked in a little bit ago into the game. She's a really good shooter, a pure shooter for Wabash Valley. Try to get her some open looks, maybe get them going. Right now it's Reed at the free throw line for the bonus. One of two from the line tonight, missed that one. 
76.5% free throw shooter on the year, a pretty good shooter, but she's missed two of three so far in this first half. Yeah, free throws just haven't been falling for the Warriors either. Those are the easy points that you need, especially in a time like this. Well, Reed makes that one, makes it 33-29. to 29. 4-10 left in the first half. Wabash Valley sets up the press. Harris checks back in. Bardney to the bench. She had some good minutes in this first half for Wabash Valley. Wells fakes the pass, drives past Reed, breaks the timeline. Wells is one of the fastest players on the court. She'll drive in, dump off past Neal at the right block. What a find from Wells and the finish by Neal. Wells just pulling Harris over. Beautiful pass from Wells. And a three-point shot there from Smith, but before it, Harris, an offensive foul, moving screen. You know, I feel like the Warriors just aren't, you know, it feels like they're not trying to find anything on offense. They're just trying to find the, you know, just... I'm checking up shots at this point. So Nakaya Harris, who just checked back in, plays one play and has to check back out with three fouls now. Nakia Barney right back in. And Barney's played good, though. You can't be mad about the substitution. Wells calling out the traffic. A great playmaker. Thought about pulling up for the three, picked up a dribble, finds it in the paint with Reese. Turn around, little jump shot, short, rebound to Wahid, then knocked away by Reese. She finds somebody at the elbow, back to Davidson down low. Might have got away with the travel there, but got the shot to go. She's got eight points. Shelf her feet a little bit, no call. Smith working against Brown, almost lost the dribble, gets it back, drives in, goes up to the restricted line, in and out. Bardney fighting for the rebound, it's in the hands of Reese. Three Rivers does not have numbers. Hop step, turnaround jumper, in and out for Reese. Rebound to Bardney. Big break right there for the Warriors. Reese has been able to make that all night. See if the Warriors can take, off, take an advantage of it. Lewis, left corner, wide open, three ball in and out. That's just how it's been for the Warriors this last few minutes. Got a good look there, just didn't fall. That's one of the first wide open shots of this ball game for the Warriors. This Three Rivers team's done a great job defensively, especially in the second quarter. Wells pulls up, deep three, left wing, too strong, rebound into the hands of Madison Lewis. She'll take it herself, driving in, throws it across. Waheed goes up at the block, she's fouled, and that's gonna be on Brown. It's 21 to 19 heading into this second quarter, Zach. Eight points for the Lady Warriors. It's not something you see a whole lot. They're used to scoring at will, and uh, that's not happening right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this is this is something that the Warriors don't face a whole lot. You know, they don't really face a whole lot of adversity as neither does Three Rivers, really. I mean, and the Warriors, we're just going to have to see how this team reacts to it and how this team, you know, is able to bounce back from being down eight, which, like we said, <laughs> it's one of those things. This Warriors team just haven't been able to put in, put in a shot. Yeah, that one in and out for Wahid on the free throw. Again, just that kind of night right now for Wabash Valley. Well, not even the whole night, just the second quarter. That one hits the back of the iron and then the front of the iron and falls out as well. Wahid missed both of them. Davis breaks the timeline. Lewis working against here. Finds Johnson at the top shell swing over. Neal swinging it back over. Davis contested three. That one too strong. Neal gets the offensive rebound. Kicks out to Thompson. Finds Davis at the block. She'll kick back out. Thompson drives baseline. The opposite corner. Three ball for Johnson. No good. Rebound Waheed. And she was fouled from behind on the rebound. That's going to be on Jasmine Davis. <laughs> and, you know, three rivers. This Warriors team, I mean, I feel like they're giving up a lot of open shots to three rivers. And great. It. We're going to see this Warriors team bounce back. I mean, this is, we're going to see a completely different game plan in this second half. You know, Warriors won by 17 last time they played. And so right now, I mean, they scored eight points in the second half. You know, Scheidegger is going to have some form of game plan up his sleeve. And Warriors are going to fight back hard. We just have to see how they're going to do it. If it's going to be offensively, if it's going to be defensively, or a little bit of both. As much as they struggle, they're still only down by seven. Defense holding strong for them. Waheed's second free throw in and out. 
Murray sets up the press even after a miss here. Brown with it. She'll break the timeline. Almost taken away, but now driving in is Johnson. Underhand layup's good. I think Lewis, or excuse me, Smith, could have had an opportunity there to take a charge, but just wasn't, wasn't able to get there in time. Well, Heeds pull up three, no good. Rebound and nil, and Bronson fouls her. And that's going to be three on Brunson as well, I believe. And Wabash Valley going to a small lineup here. It's going to be Reed, Brunson, Murray, Smith, and Waheed. Missing a lot of size with Chloe Dallas out and, you know, you don't and really, Harrison Faltro. Yeah, you don't really realize how important you know, size is until you get into a situation like this. Size is something that the uh, Lady Raiders have. So the press set up here. Minute 30 left in this first half. That one's knocked out of bounds, stays with Three Rivers. Brunson gambled on that one. It's 39 to 30 with a minute 31 left in the first half. Lady Warriors trying to finish the final 91 seconds strong. Reese bounce pass to Wells, finds Thompson at the other point, the other block. And I mean, talk about the vision from Wells. Uh, I mean, she's just finding anybody open, and Luke Shattaker takes the timeout. Three Rivers up big, 41 to 30. 127 left in the first half. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. A story of two quarters. It was 21 to 19 after the first quarter. Wabash Valley leading now with a minute 27 left in the second quarter. Three Rivers up 41 to 30. They played really well. Smith drives to the right block, changes direction, can't get it to go. She's fouled trying to get her own rebound back. A break for Wabash Valley there. It's going to be on Wells. Three reverse fans not very happy about that, but Smith, Smith just trying to create anything for this Warriors team right now. She will go to the free throw line for the bonus. She is three or four from the line tonight. First one's up, and it's good. Just trying to build some momentum going into halftime. Yeah, that's all you can do A lot right of now. game left. It's only a 10-point lead or deficit for Wabash Valley. Second free throw too strong. Rebound tipped around. Thompson ends up with it for three rivers. Wells will bring it up. Now she'll throw this one up to Thompson. Fake driving in. Now she'll kick back out. They'll set it up. 20 on the shot clock. Coach Alex Wiggs calling out the play. Here comes the screen. Wells drives in. We'll pull up for a jumper. That one too strong. Rebound offensive to Thompson. She goes back up. Her shot's too strong. Waheed fights for the rebound. It's a tie-up with Johnson. Waheed showing the heart there, but it, another unlucky bounce for Irish Valley's possession arrow stays with Three Rivers. Under a minute now, 50.2 on the clock in the first half. See one, if the Warriors can just get something. Try to just keep half. it at 10 or under this deficit, and you'll be fine. Get this ugly second quarter over with. Johnson on the trigger. Finds Wells, almost stepped out of bounds, but stays in. Reed defending her well, 15 on the shot clock, 45 on the game clock. Wells over the logo, listens for the play, 10 on the shot clock now. Here comes the screen. Brunson picks up Wells. Over the corner, Johnson should drive in, step out. Thompson, corner three, and it's good for Kaylee Thompson. Not a good three-point shooter, but got that one to go. It's 44-31 now, under 30 seconds, now under 20. Smith up top. Fakes going to reach, he'll hand off to Waheed, 15. 10 on the clock now, Reed drives in, kicks to the corner, Brunson can't handle the pass. Eight on the clock, taken away by Johnson. Two on one now, three on one, fast break. Johnson takes it herself, Waheed, the block, ends up out of bounds. And they're just going to call that for the first half. 
Free Rivers has to be happy with that first half and especially the second quarter. They lead 44 to 31 over the home Lady Warriors here after one half. Lots to talk about at the halftime show and a great game brewing. Come back for the second half and the halftime show. We'll be back here in a couple of minutes. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Hi, I'm Brett Weinzeffel. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon. I'm happy to be uh, starting my practice in Mount Carmel in the orthopedic department. I attended Indiana University School of Medicine in Indianapolis. Following that, uh, I went to uh, Case Western Reserve University for my orthopedic residence as well as a spine fellowship. I've been practicing in Evansville since 2007 and I'm happy to bring my practice to Mount Carmel, Illinois in 2023. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson, back here with you at the Spencer Sports Center halftime of this top 10 NJCAA women's basketball matchup. And right now, the Lady Warriors in an unfamiliar spot down 44 to 31 against the Three Rivers Lady Raiders at halftime, Austin. Yeah, and you know, like you said earlier in the game, it was a tale of two quarters. First quarter, you know, Wabash was able to, you know, really keep Three Rivers in check, you know, and and credit to a slow start from the Warriors. We're able to, you know, have a two-point lead heading into the second quarter, but then Three Rivers just turned up a notch. Defensive, the defensive intensity from this Three Rivers team has actually been awesome to watch because they're not giving the Warriors any good shots. Anything anything remotely open. I think we we saw the wide open three for Madison Lewis. That felt like the only really open shot that this Three Rivers team was allowing to this Warriors team and granted this Warriors team has not been able to they couldn't I mean it's like it's like there's something covering the bucket for this team I mean it feels like anything free throws everything for this team hasn't been able to fall and you know I, I think that the offense is un unmethodical it's not really doing a whole lot you're just going down the court checking up shots seeing if something falls and granted you know against any other team it might be okay but this is not just any other team this is a top 10 team and this is a team that you know there's a tad bit of a you know a rivalry there these are always this is always the funnest matchup of the regular season for both squads and you know three rivers for the first time really you know in the past two years they're really putting up a good they're they've taken complete control of this game I feel like the Warriors' defensive intensity in that second quarter just went out the window. And, you know, hopefully, you know, Scheidecker, great coach. I mean, he has really transformed this program. And I think that, you know, you know, definitely talking about the effort on the defensive side, but definitely just, you know, the effort offensively. You know, second chance points, you get those, you know, they're going to help you out. The little things are what's going to help out this Warriors team. Missing free throws has been a big thing. Thing as well and so maybe seeing this Warriors team have that you know a little bit of emotion play play with play with emotion that's what they you know 
this team loves to win. You could ask any one of them, and they would tell you that. And so, you know, and they don't get in a situation like this a whole lot. But we're just going to have to see if this Warriors team can really change around what the, what happened in that second quarter. Yeah, and you know, one thing that I see is Three Rivers is winning the rebound battle tenfold, and that's hurting. You know, Wabash Valley, a lot of the time, gets a lot of second-chance points off offensive rebounds. You're not getting that uh, tonight. And also, on the other end, they're giving up too many second-chance points, and that's a big deal as well because they're not shooting the ball real, real well right now. That one way you can kind of write that, it was something that I will point out, Nakia Barney has done in limited action, uh, getting back and playing over Chloe Dallas, who isn't here. She's done that. She's gotten three offensive rebounds and putbacks. One of them was an and one. The rest of the team not doing that very much. You know, the effort's just... The effort's just got to be there. <laughs> I mean, you know, like you said, Barney comes into the ball game and, you know, it's just really able to, you know, give this team a spark. And this team hasn't just been able to find a spark out of anyone else, offensively or defensively. It's been a struggle. Well, I know Coach Shattuck are going over that and how to get the spark back in the locker room right now. We'll take another couple minute break and be back with the halftime show. Three Rivers up right now, 44 to 31. Be back in a couple minutes. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois, has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. You open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. Hi, I'm Brett Weinzappel. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon. I'm happy to be uh, starting my practice in Mount Carmel in the orthopedic department. I attended Indiana University School of Medicine in Indianapolis. Following that, uh, I went to uh, Case Western Reserve University for my orthopedic residence as well as a spine fellowship. I've been practicing in Evansville since 2007 and I'm happy to bring my practice to Mount Carmel, Illinois in 2023. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Back at the halftime show here in the Spencer Sports Center. Once again, Three Rivers leading right now 44-31 to 31 over the Lady Warriors. Lady Warriors back out on the court and getting some shots up, trying to right the wrongs of that second quarter. They just couldn't get anything in the basket. They're trying to work on that right now. 
I think that the one thing that this Warriors team, you know, has to do is, you know, I feel like that they rely on, you know, Elias Smith and, you know, beautiful Wahid to create their own shots. And, you know, this Warriors team needs to do a better job of helping them out, you know, setting off ball screens, setting on ball screens, just getting something, getting this offense moving instead of it just being, you know, iso ball every time down the court or, you know, throwing up a contested layup. Find something offensively that works because this Warriors team knows how to score points. They can do it. We have seen this team beat teams by 100 points. Yeah, they can do it. And so uh, Three Rivers, man, the defense that they're playing and the offense that they're playing, the offense from Three Rivers, there's you, you can't really point out one player and say, like, this is the reason why they're winning this game offensively. They're I'll point doing out, so well. I'll point out one player, though, for them. Brittany Wells, the vision, the dime. She's only got five points, but uh, she drives them in the paint and she can find them. She can find the open people at the block, and that's been a big deal for them. The, I mean, right now, the Lady Raiders are using the screen and roll, really, to perfection right now. Wabash Valley not coming up and helping as much, and Wells gets around the screen. She drives in, and then she finds somebody that's open. That's what's uh, helped them go on a big run there. Um, you try to limit that, and that could help make them – Make them do what you were trying to do in the first half where they have to try to find their own shots instead of getting open looks from passes. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of that has to do, like I said earlier, with defensive intensity. If you're not playing up on the ball and you are getting pick and roll set, it, it, it's just throwing it's throwing the entire defense into a, I don't really know what to do right now, so we're going to close in on the ball. And then three were doing an incredible job of cutting to the basket as well. Once Wells drives, you've got the cutter from the opposite wing coming in and it's just been it's just been wide open the entire game and so you know especially towards the uh end of the second quarter this three rivers team has really taken advantage of you know the open opportunities and i feel like you know this team has just been putting up some good shots just but they're good easy open shots the warriors are giving it to them and so, like, you know, I keep saying it, the intensity's got to go up defensively. And offensively, they have to get their best players open. They, that's just what you got to do. That's, that's how you win games. You let your best players take over. And if you're not helping them out and just saying, you know, iso ball with it, then that's not going to win you games, especially against a good team like Three Rivers. And so, I, but this game is only a 13-point game, Zach. We're, we're talking like they're down 25. It's a 13-point game. A whole half to play. The Warriors, we, we saw what happened with one quarter. There's a whole other half to be played. And we've seen this Warriors team go on runs. You know, they went on a run early, you know, to start that second quarter. Order. It felt like that they were going to take control. A media timeout happens, and then Three Rivers looked like a completely different team out there. And so we'll have to see if this Warriors team in the second half can really come out and, you know, just do, do something. Show us something, offensively or defensively, just something. The Lady Warriors know what they need to do to get back in this one. We will see if they can do it. We promised you a top 10 matchup, and it's delivered so far, and I know it's going to deliver all the way to the end. Three Rivers up right now, 44 to 31. Be back for the rest of this top 10 matchup here as we end the halftime show. We'll be back in about a minute with the start of the second half. Don't go anywhere. This one's going all the way to the wire. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. Open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. 
Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson here with you at the Spencer Sports Center. Top 10 matchup, Three Rivers versus Wabash Valley. Three Rivers up right now, 44 to 31. We've played one half. We got a whole nother go in this big time fun matchup. Can't wait to see where it goes. Wabash Valley will start the second half with the ball. Smith brings it up, we're underway for the second half. Wabash Valley trying to get back into it after a rough second quarter. Run the offense, a little motion. Left corner, Brunson has it now looking down the lane. Central drive in. Right block, underhand layup, no good. Waheed flies in, offensive rebound, puts back, no good. But she gets the foul to go to the charity strike. Uh, interesting thing. Harris starting on the bench, you know, in foul trouble, of course. And so Barney has made some really good plays in this ball game. It's nice to see her starting the second half out there on the court. She has been really good. Like we mentioned in the halftime show, rebounds have been a problem. Good size advantage for Three Rivers with Davidson and and Thompson and Neal as well, is what he makes the first free throw there. Uh, and they've had some trouble rebounding the ball, has Wabash Valley, but Barney's done that well. We'll look to have her continue to do that. Waheed's well, second free throw is up, and that one in and out. Quickly all the way up, Jackson will take the three ball. Barney in her face, it's in and out. Rebound offensive to Three Rivers. Jackson will step it back out, get a hand off the Wells, and they'll reset the offense with 15 on the shot clock. Here's Scheidecker, you know, calling for pressure. That's what this Warriors team needs to do right now defensively. Well, he good defense there on Jackson. That one taken away by Nakia Barney. Ahead of the pack, left-hand layup is good. She continues her great showing here. That's what you do when you cause pressure. You let them make mistakes. Wells quickly driving, got away with the travel, throws up a shot, no good, rebound. Is kicked around on the floor. Barney and Davidson diving for it. Now two more. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow stays with three rivers. Three rivers catches a break right there. Warriors had a nice fast break going. Warriors just not able to corral the ball good enough. But a great start. I mean, let defensively, you have to apply pressure to this three rivers team. Force them to have to try to throw up some bad shots. Wells up top, running the point, 15 on the shot clock. Reed working against her defensively. She'll hand off Jackson. Reed stays with her, a little bit of a trap. Up top, Thompson, five on the shot clock. Weaver with it. Gets that one knocked away, out of bounds by Smith. So just three on the shot clock. And Three Rivers gonna have to inbound it from over near the corner. This is gonna be tough for Three Rivers to get a good shot off here if Wabash Valley plays it right. Let's It'll see be. if this Warriors team, sorry about that, Zach. Let's see if this Warriors team defensively have looked great so far. Jackson on the trigger, finds Wells, right wing three ball, that one no good. Rebound to Smith. She'll run in transition, doesn't have numbers, she'll slow it down. Kicks Waheed, top of the corner, showing off the dribble moves, gets past the defender, left hand layup, and one beautiful Waheed. I mean, a beautiful double crossover there from Waheed. And just a nice finish. Finally able to get something to fall there. Showing off everything. The dribble moves, the drive, the finish. And it's 44 to 36 now. Wabash Valley, a little run here to start the second half. And this is what we expected from this team. So let's, we'll have to see if they can just keep it up. Well, he's free throw rims out. She's had a tough day from the charity stripe. Showing some pressure here, quickly up. Marshall, first time playing in this game for Three Rivers. She hands that one off, balls on the floor. Bounce pass, Marshall at the block. She tries to find Davidson. Smith fighting for it. That's gonna be a tie up Wabash Valley ball. Now, I mean, I mean, what do you talk about all halftime defensive pressure? We're seeing it. The efforts there, the pressure is there. This is what you expect to see from this Warriors team. This is this is the Lady Warriors that we know, we know and love. See if we can, they can keep it going. It's a long second half. Yeah, here. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Third quarter just started, but it, this is what you'd like to see to start up a second half. Smith will bring it up. Man-to-man -man defense from Three Rivers. Smith throws it across to Brunson. Looking for cutters, now Waheed. Just had that and one last possession. She's getting trapped up top and fouled. Two hands on her, can only have the one. You get that two hand check. They're gonna call that every time. 
So Thompson will head to the bench. It's going to be on Thompson, so she heads to the bench with her third foul, I believe. Three Rivers, though, still applying that pressure defensively that they were in that second quarter. Reed kicks over to Brunson, looking for a cutter. Now we'll hand off to Waheed. Under 10 on the shot clock, drives in, finds Barney. One power dribble, goes up, right block, in and out. Rebound tipped around, Davison has it for Three Rivers. Good look there, just couldn't quite get the finish. Wells comes the other way for Three Rivers. Working against Brunson, she'll hand off. Brunson switched Fowler with the body. Yeah, can't throw the hip into a defender like Brunson just did right there. Uh, Three Rivers still doing a great job defensively, still doing what they were doing in that first half, applying pressure to the ball, applying pressure to really everyone just off the ball as well. Murray checks in for Corinne Brunson, with Brunson now having three fouls. She'll head to the bench in foul trouble, along with Harris. Wells over the logo, sets up the offense for Three Rivers. Weaver thought about the three, now steps back, takes it, that one no good, rebound to Smith. Three Rivers not scored yet here in this second half. Waheed, right wing, three ball. Nylon. And that forces a Three Rivers timeout. Wabash Valley coming out firing from the half. It's 44 to 39. Wabash Valley on their way back. 7.06 left in the third. We'll be back here in 30 seconds. Hi, I'm Brett Weinzappel. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon. I'm happy to be uh, starting my practice in Mount Carmel in the orthopedic department. I attended Indiana University School of Medicine in Indianapolis. Following that, uh, I went to uh, Case Western Reserve University for my orthopedic residence as well as a spine fellowship. I've been practicing in Evansville since 2007 and I'm happy to bring my practice to Mount Carmel, Illinois in 2023. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson here with you. Just underway in the second half. Seven minutes, six seconds still left in the third quarter, but it's been all Lady Warriors since the second half started. An 8-0 run to start things off. It's 44-39, forcing that Three Rivers timeout, Austin. So far, they've done just about everything you asked them to do in the halftime show. Yeah, it's really just applying, you know, just getting open looks, getting your best players open, and applying defensive pressure. And that's really what they've done so well so far. Granted, Three Rivers has missed a couple open shots, but this team defensively has looked really good and they're causing Three Rivers to force their own turnovers instead of, you know, swiping with the hands, you know, doing the little things that they were doing wrong in the first half. They really started off the second half with this 8-0 run playing really well. Now they've got the pressure on with the press and just like that, an unforced turnover. Great defense from Murray guarding the primary ball handler. Well, the inbounder Reese had to try to find somebody else and misfired the pass. And now great opportunity here once again for Wabash Valley. Reed up top. Calls for Waheed, hands it off. Waheed showing off the dribble moves again around the screen. Now Smith, left side 20 on the shot clock. She'll drive in. Tries to find Barney screening and couldn't get it. And then Barney kind of falls over and Incidental foul there. It is a foul. Have to call it, but no ill intent. If Bardney's just able, that's a great pass there. Great look from Smith. Just her and Bardney, just Smith a little bit, you know, too far ahead of the play. Bardney just a little bit too far behind. Murray showing off the defense here, denying the ball handler. They get this inbound to Jackson, though. Throw it back to Wells now, trying to break the timeline. She does, but Murray right in her face. Swings across to Jackson. She'll drive in. Free throw line. Gather step. Kicks out. Davidson short corner jumper. No good. Waheed flies up for the rebound, and now she's fouled. It's going to be on Jackson, I believe. Now three rivers just hasn't been able to make really anything in the second half so far. Wabash still in that 8-0 run. But the pressure from Murray in this full court press has been pretty nice. And it's, uh, you know, already caused one, you know, unforced turnover. And so, you know, we'll just see if this Warriors team can keep up the defense. They're still only down five. So we'll just have to see if the offense can kick it up a notch. Well, you know, they had trouble just scoring in a half court offense so much in that first half. How do you fix that? You get some open transition looks like that three pointer from Wahid earlier on. And, you know, that just helps. It helps get a rhythm going. That's exactly what had happened. Uh, we've got a pause in the action here. They're getting something right. Trying to maybe figure out who that foul is on. 
correctly in the scorebook, I'm not sure. Now they say we're good and we'll start things back up. Smith to bring it up the court for Wabash Valley and run the point. Picked up by Johnson defensively. Setting up the offense now. Smith will drive in. Goes up, she's fouled. No, they're gonna call the charge on Smith. Goes the other way. It's a good call there. You know, Three Rivers just doing a really good job of keeping their feet planted. Well, they know that Smith likes to put her head down and go to the rack, and they took advantage right there. Pressure again here with the press. Wells gets it inbounded to her. Murray right in her face. Tries to put, split two defenders, lose the dribble momentarily, gets it back, kicks it in the corner. Johnson drives in, dump pass to Thompson at the restricted line. Her shot in and out, gets her own rebound. And a bad foul call there. That was all ball. Now, I hope they don't call this on Barney either because you now they will call it on Reed, it looks like. Reed, not on the court. They, well, she is. I don't, that was a bad foul call. No, I, I think that's good. Hand to ball contact. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there was any. Barney was straight up in front of her and a clean block from behind. Instead, the referee calls a foul and Thompson goes to the free throw line. I'm not sure who they called that one on. I think it was Reed. I'm not even sure if she was involved in the play. Thompson makes her first free throw. She's perfect on the free throw line tonight. Four of four. First point scored there for Three Rivers. Second free throw is good as well. It's been really good from the charity stripe. Only 60.9% coming into the, this going, but perfect tonight. Neal checks in for Three Rivers. It's 46-39, 6-12 left in the third quarter. Reed will bring it up for Wabash Valley. Gets it over to Barney. She'll dribble hand off to Waheed. Picked up by Neal. Got the switch they wanted. Waheed to the rack in the underhand finish. Just give her a little bit of space. Waheed is an incredible finisher, an incredible shot creator. Give her a little bit of space. Now a takeaway, and they're going to call a foul. We'll see who, if it's against Wabash Valley or Three Rivers. Yeah, it's going to be on Three Rivers. And great. There was Waheed right there as well. Able to get the steal and then was fouled. It's going to be Marshall's first. Then Waheed will go to the free throw line here. So I was just going to talk about on that underhand finish from Waheed before the steal and the foul. They, they used a dribble handoff to switch Neal onto Waheed. Waheed's got the clear speed mismatch and blew right past her. That's exactly what they wanted. A uh, good offensive play there. Well, he missed the free throw there. To help out your best players. That's what you do. You create mismatches for them. Wahid well, is an incredible finisher. Let her get to the rim. And, I mean, we've seen what she can do. Makes that free throw there. She's taken a lot today. Not made a ton of them. Made that one. Four-point game now. Momentarily, Wells lost her dribble, but Thompson cleans it up. Wells back with it now to run the offense. 20 on the shot clock. Swings it over. Weaver with it. Looking for help. Waheed right on her defensively. Weaver driving in. And she carried. Saw that one. And the ref did too. Yeah, Three Rivers not very happy about that call. But, I mean, that, that's the right call right there. Don't see that a lot in college basketball. That one was just... Obvious enough, the ref wanted to call it. Smith drives in now, tries to find Barney. Ball up in the air. Johnson comes down with it. Throws it up to Thompson, throws it away. But Thompson able to corral it, and they'll set things up. Up top with Wells. She's directing out the offense. Goes around a screen from Neal. Drives in. Barney's right there. Throws up a shot. No good. Rebound to Wahee. She'll look up ahead. Smith ahead of the pack. She'll go up and is fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. Warriors still doing a great job pressuring the shooter. This Drew Rivers has made, has, has, they have no field goals made here in the second half so far, of course. And it has a, has a lot to do with the on ball. The, it's the off ball pressure, if anything. As soon as someone catches the ball in the post for Three Rivers, multiple Warriors are there, you know, not fouling, just playing good physical defense and doing what they can to make sure Three Rivers isn't getting any easy buckets. 
Smith makes the free throw there. Inching closer and closer is Wabash Valley. Smith's had a good night from the line, only 51.4% on the year, but she's made all but two now. She missed that one. Four or six from the line. Or four or five to seven, excuse me. Neil drives in and throws that one off of Wahid, gets it right back, goes up, no good, gets her own rebound, and Bardney fouls her. Neil to the free throw line. There's those offensive rebounds again that was a big uh, help for Three Rivers offensively in the first half. We're going to have a timeout here, immediate timeout, I believe. Wabash Valley on a great run here in the second half. There's 449 left in the third quarter. It's a three-point game. Don't go anywhere. This one's going down the wire. We'll be back in a minute. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. You open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. A three-point matchup here, 46 to 43. Three Rivers with a chance to add to it with Neil at the free throw line, but it's been all Lady Warriors here in the second half so far. Trying to keep that going now out of that media timeout. 449 left in the third quarter. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrison here with you at the Spencer Sports Center. And Neil makes her first free throw. Yeah, second half so far for the Warriors has been really what we what we really expected. A different game plan, you know, apply the defensive pressure. They've done a really good job of it. Still haven't really been able to get a whole lot of offensive opportunities, but they, like you said earlier, they're running, you know, this weave offense and getting mismatches for beautiful Wahid to get open shots. Neil made both her free throws there out of the timeout, so it's 48-43 now. Brunson hands off to Murray, picks up her dribble, gets it up to Bardney. We'll try to run the offense. 20 seconds on the shot clock, Wahid with it. Showing off the dribble moves, driving in at the elbow. Now back to the basket, hands off to Brunson. She'll drive into his left block, now step back out. Under 10 on the shot clock, Brunson looking for help, finds Wahid in the corner. Five, four, Smith up top. She'll pull up, she's blocked by Brown. Wahid throws it up, but that's gonna be a shot clock violation. Good defense there from Three Rivers out of the timeout. A great defense there. I mean, not giving this Warriors team any of space to work with offensively. That one thrown up and Reese able to corral it, almost thrown away. Wide open three for Weaver is good. That's a big time bucket right there from Three Rivers. That's the bucket that they needed right there. Just her first points of the night, and now it's 51-43. They're trying to get their team back into it. Smith throws up that one in and out. Rebound, Corinne Brunson, one dribble, goes back up, no call. Gets her own rebound back again. She'll drive it back around. Spans at the block, she's fouled. No shot, I don't believe, but uh, it'll be bonus anyway. This is the first field goal for three rivers in this first half and in the second half the second it, half and it's a big one that's what i mean yeah, that's a much trying, needed three from this trying team. to get momentum back that's what they wanted but they've still been able to play great defense regardless of what they've been doing offensively so far and this warriors team it feels like they're inch and inch and in that three that's a tough one to give up for the warriors Brunson misses the free throw. Free throw shooting has been very poor for the Lady Warriors today, and that's been part of the reason as well that they're down right now. Absolutely. I mean, it feels like no one on this Warriors team has been able to shoot free throws. Missed that one as well. Rebound to Davis. Nakaya Harris with three fouls just checked back in. Brown thought about the three, now she'll drive in, kick to the top. Davidson drives in, finds Weaver, same spot, right corner three or right wing three, and she made it again. 
Two in a row from Weaver and a big time run for Three Rivers. The lead balloons back up to 11, it's 54 to 43. Waheed left side, 20 on the shot clock, working against Davis, back to Smith. She'll take the three with Brown in her face, off the backboard and hits the rim, no good. Davis finds Reese at the block, she goes up, got it to go. The three Rivers traveled well, they got a lot of fans here and they're into it now. It's 56 to 43, Coach Schottiger takes the timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. It was all Wabash Valley to start the second half, and now a big time 8-0 run for Three Rivers, and all of a sudden lead back up to 13, where it was to start the second half. Yeah, and you know the Warriors were doing a really good job of you know not giving up open shots. Weaver two big threes, and then a great transition bucket from Reese. This team's got to come and claw back. They got to show some fight in them. Waheed swings over to Brunson, trying to run the offense. Goes between legs, drives in, bad spacing. Harris is right in her face, gets it to Murray, right side. She drives into the block, throws up a little floater. That was no good. Rebound, Three Rivers. Gets it to Thompson, still swing over Jackson. Left wing, three ball, too strong. Rebound to Smith. And gets past all the defenders, drives in, two on one, dumps off to Waheed. She goes up, gets it to go at the right block. Passing off at the right time. Warriors catch a break there as Smith was just somehow able to get the ball back. Weaver again, right wing, three ball. She got another. Harris didn't come out to contest. It's 59 to 45. Three Rivers crowd well into this one. They have the last person, if you're the Warriors, the last person you want to shoot the ball right now is Weaver. Harris let her shoot that one. Smith drives in, throws up a floater. She's fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. I mean, the offense for this Warriors team just hasn't looked good. And that's the only way you think you put it. It's just there's no there's no movement. There's no there's no nothing to it. Minute 57 left in this third quarter. Smith at the free throw line, Three Rivers leading 59 to 45. Smith makes that free throw and Alexia Weaver, who did not score in the first half, I'm not sure she took a shot in the first half, all of a sudden has had three three balls from the same spot in the last couple of minutes. It's been big time for him. So that's gonna be on the Warriors to just come out and contest the red hot Weaver. Coincidentally, Weaver on the bench right now, I believe. Brown tries to pounce that, pass that one off to the block and got taken away. Smith goes around a defender, misses the layup, rebound to Reese. Now Three Rivers with numbers, kick to the corner. Wells drives in, fouled on the drive by Harris. That'll be Harris's fourth foul. So Bardney will check back in for her. And it'll be Brittany Wells at the free throw line. Shamaya Reed checks in, Leah Smith to the bench. Luckily, it's only a 12 point game. Warriors, they still have another quarter. They have a minute and a half left in this quarter as well. They gotta show some fight. Wells at the free throw line, first shot up and good. Free throw shooting has also killed this Warriors team today. Oh, they've been bad at it, and Three Rivers has been really good, and they've yep. been good throughout the year. They've got a lot of great percentages, including Wells, who's shooting 79% and made both of them there. 61-47, a minute and a half left in the third quarter. Time for Wabash Valley to make another run. Brunson in the corner, she'll drive baseline, picks up the dribble, she's trapped. Looking for help, gets it to Bartney. 
who drives in, gets her dribble knocked away for a second, goes up at the block and finished in traffic. Bardney, a great game today. 12 points, a number of rebounds. A great and spin move there from Bardney. I thought she was going to lose the ball for a second. I think we all did. Well, swings over to Reese now. They're swinging all the way around in the opposite corner. Johnson with it and an offensive foul. Reese moving screen. Coach Alex Wiggs not happy about it. And Warriors will take whatever they can get right now, Zach. A two-point basket here can get them back within 10. A three-point basket back into single digits of a deficit. It'll be Waheed bringing it up the court. Under a minute in the third quarter. Reed now will up, up top. She'll drive in. Euro step. Little floater's good. Great Deficit bucket down there. To 10. Great bucket there from Reed. Just creating her own space. She's been using that Euro step all day. Reed a good finisher as well. Showed it off there. Wells over the logo. Guarded by Waheed. Almost lost her dribble. Now she's trapped. Gets her dribble back because we technically knocked it. Thompson, three ball in and out. Rebound to Wabash Valley, but then taken away in an easy bucket for Brown. Reed had the rebound, was pushed and started falling away, had to give up the basketball so it didn't go out of bounds. Brunson driving baseline, picks it up, kicks it back out to Reed. 10 on the clock, Reed, crossover, kicks to Brunson, left corner, three ball, money! And that'll do it for the third quarter. What a game we've had so far. What a game it'll be into the finish. Put up your fours. We're in the fourth quarter. Wabash Valley down nine, 63 to 54 against Three Rivers. A top 10 matchup. Come back for the finish in one minute. There's a lot of things that you can do to help and reduce your heating bills over the winter time. Open the draperies in the house. Let the sun warm the interior of your home during the day. That helps reduce some of that heating load during the day. Consider installing programmable thermostats. You know, you can drop the temperature down while you're not there or in the evening times when you're asleep, make the house a little cooler and then have those programmable thermostats bring the temperature up uh, at the times you're actually in the home, uh, not away. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson here with you at the Spencer Sports Center. We were promised a top 10 nail biter in NJCAA women's basketball, and that's exactly what we've gotten. We still got a quarter to play. Yeah, we, you know, the Warriors, they started off this uh, second half red hot, and then, you know, Three Rivers went on their little run themselves, and, and the Warriors got a big three from Brunson to end the third quarter. See what they can do here. Get it down to the block with Davidson. She'll kick a little jumper from the free throw line, hit the front of the rim, and then rolls in for Jasmine Davis. Her second bucket of the night. Makes it an 11-point lead again. Smith brings it up for Wabash Valley. Check back in. Well, he goes around a couple of screens. Now showing off the dribble moves. Drives in, underhand layup. Doesn't fall, no foul call. Rebound to Jasmine Davis. Almost throws it away, but Reese has it, and it's knocked out of bounds by Reed. Wabash Valley a chance to set up the defense now at least. Not getting a foul call there for Waheed is very frustrating if you're, if you're the Warriors. Davis over the logo working against Reed. She'll hand off to Jackson, their leading scorer. Hasn't done a lot of that today. But they really spread the ball around. That one thrown away. Reed takes it away. Overzealous pass into the paint. Smith brings it up, 25 on the shot clock. She'll drive in immediately, spins, goes up, and she's hacked. She'll go to the free throw line. Oh, we got some John. Uh, two really good teams, not used to being in this tightly contested matchups. Smith will be at the free throw line. 
trying to get it back within 10 points for Wabash Valley it's early on here in this fourth quarter. Three Rivers coming in here on the road as Smith makes the first free throw. They've been really good, defensively especially. Wabash Valley shown flurries, needs some more. Smith misses the free throw. Three Rivers and transition. Jackson working against Barney, and Barney's straight up, but they call the foul on the fast break. So with a 10-point lead for Three Rivers, Jackson will go to the free throw line trying to extend it. It's a tough call right there if you're the Warriors. I felt like, I felt like Barney was straight up. As an offensive player, you know, they were supposed to take, take it out of the game to where, you know, if you create the contact, it's not a foul. I don't know, I could have seen it go both ways right there, but you hate to see that if you're the Warriors. Well, Jackson makes a free throw there. As I said, she's their leading scorer coming into this one with 10.3. She's got a three ball back in the first quarter, and then that's her next bucket right there with that free throw. She's got four points total, and misses the second one. Brunson in a hurry here, hands off to Smith. And now a foul. A hand check there. Once again, if you put two hands on them, they're going to call it. You can usually get away with one. One or the other switching back and forth. They said she put two on her. That was Camille Brown. That's her fourth foul now. She's a really good defender for them, so they're going to miss her. But here comes Weaver back in for her, who's the, the three-point sharpshooter. Smith gets the handoff from Wahid. She'll drive in. Underhand lay with the right hand. No good. Reed flies in, takes away the offensive rebound. Now loses the dribble belt, stolen away by Reese. Three on three, fast break. Kick back to Jackson. She'll pull up just outside the restricted line. Air ball it. Brunson with the rebound. Up to Wahid, left wing. Bodies flying around. Wahid drives into the paint. Gather step, goes up. She's fouled. Great job by Wahid using the fallen defender of Three Rivers kind of as a little bit of a screen there. I'd like to see the IQ right there. On a dime, too. The IQ on a dime. Yeah. Uh, notice that. They're going to need Wahid. The, the Warriors are going to need Wahid to step up big time here in this fourth quarter. She's at the free throw line here and missed it. Oh, free throws are so big for this Warriors team in this, in this part of the game specifically. She's made four tonight. She's taken a bunch of them. Only made four, now make it five. Five of 13, I have, or five of 14, I believe, somewhere, somewhere around there from the line tonight. Uh, regardless of which one it is, it's not really what you want to see. Davis gets this inbound. Reed trying to apply the pressure. Now Thompson has it. She'll break the timeline. Try to get it back. And now to the hands of Davis. Now, now Davis, excuse me, and she'll set up the offense, drives in, kicks out to Thompson in the corner, finds Jackson at the free throw line, throws up a little footer, strong off the back iron, gets her on a rebound, putback's good. The leading scorer is starting to get involved now. Smith at the top, she'll step back, takes the three ball, that one's too strong as well, hit the back iron, shot off to the left. 68-56 the score. Jackson driving, that one taken away by Brunson. Good still there, Wahid's ahead of the pack. Now she'll bounce it off to her in the corner. Now they'll kind of reset, Wahid drives in. Little floater, and one, beautiful Wahid. How many times am I gonna get to say that tonight? She finishes so, so strong, even with the contact. I mean, that's what that's the best part of her game, is her finishing ability. And if you just give her the opportunity, get the ball into the hands of beautiful Wahid. And we, like, what, she's up to 24 now? Unbelievable. Unbelievable showing from Wahid tonight. Missed the free throw, offensive rebound for Corinne Brunson. At the block, tries to split two defenders, throws it across and out of bounds. No foul call, they didn't say that he touched it, or that Three Rivers touched it before it went out. Luke Scheidecker about side himself. But regardless, Wahid missed another free throw. That's a 10-point game right now, 68-58. 7-19 left in this one. Wells working against Smith. Splits two defenders, goes to the block. Steps around Barney, missed the shot, though. A great move, couldn't finish. 
Barney had the rebound. Here comes Smith. Cuts in, shows off the dribble, moves, goes behind the back, loses the dribble, and it's taken away in the hands of Weaver now. She drives past Reed, and Reed fouls her from behind to reach in. I mean, that's a good foul right there from Reed. Saved a wide open layup attempt. And now it looks like there's gonna be some sort of technical foul. So should, that's gonna be on Shamaya Reed. She'll pick up a technical foul there. So we oh, probably the intentional right there. Crazy call right there. So Weaver at the free throw line, a chance to really extend this. The technical free throw in and out. She's an 83.3% free throw shooter. She's had three three-pointers tonight, three of three from behind the, the arc. But missed that free throw there. She'll have another technical free throw here. That one in and out as well. And now I believe she, well I guess they're not quite in the bonus, so they'll take it out of bounds. Thought she might have gotten another couple free throw shots there on the reach in foul, but she does not. Instead, they'll take it out of bounds right here down in front of us. Madison Lewis coming into the game. Haven't seen her a lot today, but she's checked in now. One of the fastest players on the team. That helps defensively. Driving as well, she'll hand off to Davis around the screen. Pull up for three from the right wing. Too strong. Rebound, knocked around. It's on the ground now. We're gonna have wow, they're gonna they're gonna say that they're gonna say the three rivers have possession and give them the timeout instead of the jump ball. And she did not have sole possession of that basketball when they gave him the timeout. I think that's an incredible call. I <laughs> think <laughs> Not incredibly good. Uh, uh, bad, incredibly bad call. Yeah, right I think that's a crazy call to make right there. Now their the official is gonna talk it over. And this is big because the possession arrow does belong to Wabash Valley. So if it's a tie up, a jump ball, they get the basketball. If not, it stays three rivers ball with 20 on the shot clock. Yeah, I think it's wild how in a spot like that with the balls, you know, jumbling around, I don't hey, think that you the, could get the timeout to anyone. No, absolutely not. That, that's bad. And it's going to end up going three rivers away, I believe. That's a big call, too, like you said. It's almost taking a possession away from the Warriors. In a 10-point game with only 6.37 left, that is a big, big momentum shift. I just don't know how you give the timeout to anybody. If, I mean, if Luke Shatter tried try to call a timeout, I don't think you could give it to him. I know, I don't, I don't think that you give it to anyone in that spot. I think that, you know, because at that point, as they're rolling around on the ground for it, the Warriors, everybody had a hand on it at one point. I think right there you called the jump ball. Well, uh, break the Three Rivers way. They'll end down it from underneath their own basket. Weaver on the trigger. Reed Gardner face up. Finds Davis, top of the key. Three ball, rolls out. Rebound to Madison Lewis. Ball don't lie. Huge miss there from Three Rivers. A good break there for the Warriors. Well, he kicks to Brunson in the corner, looking down low to Barney. Davidson playing good defense. Brunson takes it herself, no foul call. Rebound to Three Rivers. Brunson's gotta get back on defense here, she does. Davis with it, kicks over to Thompson, up top. She'll slow it down now, clock on Three Rivers side. 15 on the shot clock, Thompson driving in now, will kick out to Weaver. She'll drive in, spins, goes up right block, underhand layup, no good, rebound to Waheed. Great defense there from Lewis. Bounce pass up to Reed, she'll drive in, goes up at the block, and one with the blocking foul. Trying to get momentum any way you can if you're Wabash Valley. 
And that's a good start. I think that call could have went either way. All Me right. personally, I was waiting. I because I felt like three rivers had the position right there, but I think maybe a little close to the restricted arm. Yeah, I think that you know. <laughs> Oh, that's a good, it's a good bucket though from Reed. I mean, regardless, one of the best finish. We talk about beautiful Wahid's finishing ability, but Shamaya Reed's right up there with her. And Reed, cool. I mean, the free throw. The Euro steps that she's been displaying today. It's she's, been awesome. She's got great control when she gets up into the air, and a good finisher to boot. Still full court pressure here from Wabash Valley. They'll set up a trap and they force the turnover. They trapped Jackson in the corner. She tried to pass back to the inbound of Reese, and she had taken up the court. Started to go up. Big time momentum shift possibly in for Wabash Valley. A seven-point game, 68 to 61, 547 left in the fourth quarter. Reed on the trigger. Throws it up to Wahid in the corner. Back to Reed. She'll drive in. Spins, goes up with the block, and is foul. What a move by Shamaya Reed. <laughs> Need these free throws. That spin move was, there had to have been a foul there to stop that because the spin move was very clean, very clean spin move. Threw their hands in, got a piece of her wrist, trying to make up for getting blown by with the spin move. Read at the free throw line, these are huge right here. So far, three of five from the line. That one in and out. Everything, and that's the thing about all these free throw misses is they're all in and out. You know, it They're just right feels like there. it's just not bouncing her way. Second one's up. Missed that one as well. Murray fighting for the rebound. Out of bounds off of Davidson. Wabash Valley steals a possession. Ooh. Lucky break right there for the Warriors. Reed not, be, not being able to make those free throws is tough, but luckily the Warriors have a possession to try and regain that. Well, you know, those two points. Well, he'd on the trigger this time instead of Reed. Gets it to Reed in the corner. Throws this one up to Wahid at the block. One power dribble goes up, no good. Tie up. Wabash Valley keeps the ball as they had the possession arrow. Wow, that's a layup they usually see Wahid make right there, but you know, a lot of very physical, very physical ball game out here, Zach. Absolutely, and it has been all game long. This time, it's going to be Madison Lewis on the trigger. There's three out of bounds plays from the same spot. They've had three different people to inbound it. Lewis find, trying to find somebody, finds Wahid. Left wing, three ball, money from beautiful Wahid. It's a four point game. The trap just across the half court line. Murray flying around defensively. Wells has it. Crowd getting into it. Wells drives, kicks off to Jackson. Murray picks her up, and now they're going to call a hand foul on her. So Murray picks up a foul there. And that We'll reset the shot clock to 20. Calm things down a bit for Three Rivers. Murray guarding the ball handler. Wells face up. Reese bounce pass to Wells. Good play at the block. Thompson is fouled. Thought she had a block, got blocked for a second. They call a foul on Reed flying in there. It's a good foul, though. That's what that's what you want. Thompson, a 60.9% free throw shooter on the year coming into this one, but she is 5 for 5 tonight. Perfect from the line. Wells doing a good job, though. That's what she did a lot to end the first half. Such a good passer as Wells, and Thompson misses that free throw. Yeah, I mean, an incredible passer right there. She's able, as she's driving, nobody, everybody really trailing her, has to pull that post defender out, finding wide open Thompson. Thompson's second free throw up and good. Now six of seven from the line tonight. 69 to 64. Five minutes left in this one. Wahid hands off to Reed. Running the weave offense here. Now Reed faces up towards the basket. Swings over to Wahid. Looking down low. Barney has position instead. Wahid drives now. Kicks to Barney. One power dribble. Goes up at the block and gets it to go. What a performance tonight from Nakia Barney. Wells moving in a hurry. She's fouled. Everybody was caught up in that good finish from Barney. Wells just got the inbound and blasted past everybody. Wabash Valley able to recover to get the foul and not a free bucket. But yeah, once it once again, a, gr a great foul in that spot. And here comes out Lewis. Lewis doing great defensively. And now, Wahid with 27. 
get the ball into Wahid's hands. So I think everybody in the gym knows who's going to be touching the ball here in these last, you know, the last minutes of this game. Wells' first free throw up, in and out. A three-point game. Lead has been as big as 13 at a couple of points for Three Rivers, but now here with 447 left in it. It's a three-point lead, make it a four-point lead as Wells hits the second free throw. It's 70 to 66. Reed brings it up the court. Calling out for a screen, hands off to Wahid up top. She'll go around the screen now. Looking for the cutter, wasn't there. Smith drives in, goes up at the block, no good, no foul call, rebound to Wells. Wells trying to dribble past Murray. Kicks back, Jackson, she'll step in. The floater is good. Jackson's got five points here in this fourth quarter. Four, three rivers. Smith hands off to he Thought about the three, got our defender in the air. Drives in, floater off the glass, no good. Rebound to Reese. Murray right there to show pressure on Jackson. Picks up her dribble, hands off to Wells. Breaks the timeline, pass Murray in at the restricted line. Goes up left-handed layup, no good. Rebound to Bartney. She throws it away, right to Weaver. Finds Thompson, jump ball. Goes Three Rivers away, but it gives Wabash Valley a chance to set up the defense at the very least. A uh, crazy little sequence there. That's Absolutely. The only, the only thing to say about that. Well, I tell you folks, this one's going right down to the wire. Jackson underneath her own basket will be on the trigger for the Lady Raiders. Nobody guarding her face up. And Murray, the rejection, and gets the own rebound. Rejected Brown shot. Now Smith coming up in transition. She'll slow it down. Swings across. Shamaya Reed thought about the three. Drives in. Dump off pass. Nakia Bardney off the glass and good. Bardney with 16. Well, he'd almost got a hand on that pass. Wells up to Jackson. She's going in a hurry. Drives in. Deeks Bardney, who's getting foul trouble, didn't want to foul there. Jackson got another basket. 74-68, Murray, right corner, three ball, nothing but nylon! It's back to a three-point game. Big shot for Murray there. That's the first shot of the ball game, at least from deep. Wells over the logo, swings to the right corner with Reese, looking down low, kicks it back out. Under three minutes now, three-point game. Jackson moving on the screen, not called for it. Wells finds Jackson, floater is left short, offensive rebound, put back by Kiera Neal. Second chance opportunities for Three Rivers are winning them this game right now. Well, he kicks it to Smith, she'll drive in. Tries to pass off to Bartney, it's taken away by Neal. Wells trying to work against Smith, right down her face, kicks it up to Neal. Right wing, three ball from Jackson is money. Now, back to an eight-point lead. Reed, driving, almost lost the dribble, kicks it to Barney, she can't handle the pass, jump ball stays with Wabash Valley. Big shot from Three Rivers. 2.15 left, don't want to call it a dagger, but it definitely put a damper on the crowd. Still not over yet, 79, 71. We've got immediate timeout, don't go anywhere, this one. Is brewing for a heck of a finish. 2.15 left. We'll be back in a minute. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank. But have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Hi, I'm Brett Weinzappel. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon. I'm happy to be uh, starting my practice in Mount Carmel in the orthopedic department. I attended Indiana University School of Medicine in Indianapolis. Following that, uh, I went to uh, Case Western Reserve University for my orthopedic residence as well as a spine fellowship. I've been practicing in Evansville since 2007 and I'm happy to bring my practice to Mount Carmel, Illinois in 2023. 
2.15 left. Eight point deficit, Lady Warriors with the basketball. They need a big time shot here and then they need to get a stop. They're, they've been better offensively. Yeah, I, the, the offense has looked gorgeous. It's just that the, probably not the best time for it to look that you, you needed that earlier in the game at this point. Brunson on the trigger, under her own basket. Looking for help. Got to get it in bounds. Finds Murray at the top of the key. She'll hand off to Smith. Set up the offense. Across the court to Brunson. Wild pass. Couldn't handle it. A turnover. Exactly. Yeah, that one hurts. Exactly not what Wabash Valley wanted there. Thompson checks back in, as does Davis. 4 3 Rivers. Inbound to Jackson. Throws this one up to Reese. Swing it back across to Davis. They'll try to use the clock. It's on their side. We're under two minutes. Smith applying pressure. Finds Reese. She'll cut in across the court pass. Weaver traveled, got away with it. Ooh, shuffled the feet there. Still on dribble. Finds Davis in the corner. Under 10 on the shot clock. Five on the shot clock. Jackson drives against Murray. She's fouled and one for Jackson. The shot came well after the initial contact. That was an NBA in one right there. Let her, let her get away with a little extra. And that could be a dagger. Yeah, that one, that's, that's the one right there. Jackson came into the fourth quarter with three points. She now has 15. That's why she's their leading scorer. She's the closer. That's what happens when you get in a spot like this, you need to get your ball into the, you, you get the ball into your best player's hands. Three Rivers has done a really good job. You gotta give them a lot of props. Free throw's good as well. Make it 16 for her. Still a minute 41 and an 11 point lead for Three Rivers. Wabash Valley. Needs to score in a hurry. I've seen crazier. Reggie Miller once scored eight points in like two seconds. <laughs> Brunson with it up top. Swings over. Read the corner. She'll drive in. Goes up. Gets fouled from behind. Thought that might just be a block. Well, they called the foul. I think Reggie Miller's was nine seconds. Not two. But hey, but quick. <laughs> it was quick. That was the point. <laughs> What was it? Uh, Tracy McGrady scored 13 and 31. Yeah. We have seen crazier things. Reed at the free throw line. Three of seven from the line tonight. Made that one. Make a four of eight, 50%. She's a good shooter on the year from the charity stripes, 76.5%. Just been one of those days for the Lady Warriors. Just bit. That's the only way to put it. Second one hits the front of the rim and falls in. So back down to a single digit, nine point deficit for the Lady Warriors. They'll set up to press. Reese on the inbound, four three rivers. Here comes the trap, now we're up to Reese and they break the timeline. Davis with it, finds Jackson cutting the basket and she finishes. That was beautiful. 18 for Jackson. 15 of them in the fourth quarter. Waheed thinking about the pull up three, instead she'll kick to Lewis. She'll drive in, gather step, foul on her way up to the rim. A minute, eight seconds left. Lewis going to the free throw line. 84 to 73, Three Rivers leads it. Foul was on Davis. First free throws up and short off the front of the rim, a miss by Lewis. Second free throw is good. This one thrown all the way up to Jackson, now back to Wells. You have to imagine they're gonna slow this one down if they can. Under a minute now. 10 point lead for Three Rivers. Wabash Valley needs a miracle. Jackson working against Murray, jab steps, now she'll go to the dribble. Seven on the shot clock, six, five, offensive foul against Reese. But they were successful in killing a lot of clock there. 
Yeah, just 40, basically 43 seconds left. Warriors are going to need a lot to happen here in this next 43 seconds, Zach. They need Tracy McGrady. Don't we all? And in over till it's over. We'll see what they can do. Waheed will bring it up to court. She'll pull up three, top of the key, nothing but net. She's got four three-pointers today. I'm not sure she's missed one. And they've all been nothing but net. Yeah, that's, I mean, if you needed anything to happen, that is the first thing that needs to happen is a quick three. We'll just have to see how the rest of this game pans out. It's now 84 to 77, and really here, you almost have to have a steal on the inbound. Yeah, I think you got to either that or a quick turnover of some sort. You got to get a quick turnover, and you got to get another three. I know that's a lot to ask, but we're in a situation where you got to ask for a lot. Right now, possession arrow is with three rivers, so a, a, tie, a tie up, a jump ball doesn't even necessarily give you what you want, although you'll take it. Stops the clock and flips the possession arrow in your favor. Definitely want some sort of clean steal if you can get it. And then probably another three-pointer. But like you said, the game's not over until the final whistle blows. Thompson on the trigger. Finds Jackson on the inbound. Reed working against her. Here comes the trap. They find Wells. She'll split two defenders across the timeline. Up to Weaver, and Lewis has to foul her. Weaver is 0 for 2 from the line tonight, but on the year, very good free throw shooter, 83%. Weaver will try to ice Wabash Valley with free throws here. Just 28.1 seconds on the game clock. Shot clock turned off. First free throw by Weaver is good. Wabash Valley, the Lady Warriors have not been beaten at home in literally years. That's been one of the longest streaks in college basketball. And that might be what's about to happen here. I mean, you gotta give all the credit to Three Rivers. These guys just came out here and they played an incredible ball game. Well, he will step back, lost her dribble, now she'll drive in, little floater off the glass and good. She adds to her scoring total, but might be too much, too little too late. Another foul there, Wells to the free throw line. Yeah, no, I mean, this is surreal. Not a, not a feeling anybody's used to really here in the Spencer Sports Center is the Lady Warriors losing at home. This is, I mean, the past two years for us, we've seen just straight dominance. I don't think that the Warriors have even ever came close to this. It's heartbreaking to see, but you know, like you said, this game is not over until the final whistle blows. It isn't. And hey, what a fun basketball matchup. Top 10 has delivered as promised. And it always has been a fun matchup, these two teams. Under 20 seconds, Waheed will hurry it up across. Step back, three ball, off to the right. Reed gets the rebound. She'll go up as blocked by Thompson. She gets the rebound, and that little fouler, but that'll just about do it. 8.1 on the clock. Free throws coming for Thompson. Like you said, Three Rivers a top 10 team. Wabash Valley beat them at their house. We talked about it in the open. We knew the Three Rivers would want to return the favor. And that's what they've done. Yeah, I mean, it's unlike, I mean, we're both sophomores. We've never even seen anything like this here at home. Well, not much at all. I mean, uh, they, don't, they don't lose much in general. This will be their second loss on the year. Got to give props to this Three Rivers team, though. Got to keep saying it. I mean, this team has played absolutely awesome. Well, he trying to make a miracle happen. We'll pass off. Lewis, deep three ball. No good. Rebound. And Three Rivers knocks off number six, Wabash Valley, on their home court. 
79 is the final score. The Lady Raiders stomping on the logo at midcourt. Now they'll go shake hands. You know, as Wabash Valley Warriors ourselves, this is not what we wanted to see, but as a basketball fan, I had a lot of fun. Oh, no, as a basketball fan, this is this is what you enjoy, and this is just great basketball, and you know, you don't get to see a lot of games like this when you're watching Wabash Valley Warriors basketball, and so it's great to see just, you know, just great basketball being played. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. But, you know, unfortunately, the Warriors, they don't lose a whole lot. They're losing their second game of the season, and you know, we'll, you know, expect the Warriors to keep winning basketball games, but just not what you really expected tonight, Zach. Uh, beautiful Waheed turns in a 32-point performance. And Nakia Barney had a great coming out party, a great game for her as well. And just overall, couldn't get back from behind the eight ball after that second quarter. Yeah, that was that was the real dagger in this game was, it was just, I, I, they played a really good second half. And you gotta give that to the Warriors. You know, they were able to come out and, you know, change up their game plan and they went back down 13 and then they were able to fight their way within three. And then from that point, it was just all three rivers. Well, I'll tell you there. what happened at that point. Leah Jackson became the closer. Yep. She finished with, I have 18 points, 15 all in the fourth quarter. And late in the fourth quarter, probably in the last seven minutes or so. She really became the closer for them and uh, put things away for Three Rivers. A surreal feeling here in the Spencer Sports Center. Wabash Valley, the Lady Warriors losing home. Uh, still a lot to look forward to. They'll still be ranked. They'll still go to the tournament, as will Three Rivers, I assume. Two really, really good teams. This time, Three Rivers ends up on top. Well, looking at to what's next for the Lady Warriors, they try to bounce back. On the 10th, they will be at Wren Lake. On the 13th, Lincoln Trail will be here and also here at the Spencer Sports Center on Wednesday, the 24th, will be SWIC, Southwestern Illinois College. So getting into conference play now, we know the Wabash Valley can dominate conference play and uh, I would hate to be Ren Lake after a Wabash Valley home loss. Yeah, no, <laughs> if you're, <laughs> they're gonna be coming for blood. This is the only thing to say. Well, a stunner here at the Spencer Sports Center. The Lady Warriors fall to Three Rivers in this great, highly anticipated top 10 matchup. It went Three Rivers way. I want to thank you for joining us here on News Channel 15 YouTube for this great game, and hopefully you'll be back for the next one as the Warriors look to bounce back next time out. For our Ryland Rob, man in our stream, thanks to him. For Austin Harrelson, I'm Zach Reynolds.